drops to the floor They said it would get easier Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for my first 2023 summer decorate with me. Today we are decorating my coffee bar and my dining room table and I'm really excited to show you guys how it all came together. Real quick, just for some context, I was really going for neutral with a little bit of a pop of green. I was honestly very inspired after we switched out our sliding door. I don't know if you guys can see it in the back, but Jonathan actually took a day out of his very busy schedule to switch out that sliding door for some French doors and I absolutely love how they look. It's crazy how much they changed this space and how much more it makes the house look like the style that I'm going for. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think, but I absolutely love how everything turned out and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Also real quick, just make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I will actually be having a giveaway and I will give a little bit more detail at the end of the video, like I said, so make sure to stick around. But as always, if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the decorating. So of course we had to get started on the coffee bar shelf. I always get questions about this shelf and my husband built it for me. I absolutely love it and it is my favorite spot to decorate in my home. I started off by placing this painting or picture I got from Hobby Lobby. I just love the little sheep on it, the colors of it. I think it's very calming and neutral. And then I placed that scale from the Hearth and Hand line at Target as well as these candle holders from Poolin Marketplace which is a local shop to me and I love them. I think they look so good. I did try candles on them originally but I just felt that it I don't know it looked a little bit funky they looked a little bit too tall so I just went ahead and left them without candles and now I'm getting started on the other side of this shelf absolutely love pulling out this picture for decorating my coffee bar shelf. I think I basically always have it on here and during spring I actually replaced it with a blue one so I was really excited to bring it back out and I just went ahead and grounded it with a little napkin and then this candle is old. I got it from Target a while back so I just pulled it out. I think the little yellow tag on it just works with this color palette and and then of course some florals. I'm using these fake baby breaths from Hobby Lobby in this beautiful like beigey color. I just think they're so simple again and perfect for summertime and for the overall theme I was going for. Next up on the other side I'm using these napkins once again to ground some bowls I will be putting on. It just adds a little bit more interest in my opinion, a little bit more texture and some color because the bowls are white and the shelf is white so I kind of wanted that distinction between both of those and then of course just adding some more details like this little rosemary plant and I just love how all the colors work together. Cause some things last forever She 
And very conveniently, I got my grocery dropped off right about now. So I ordered these pears and although I will eat them, I thought that for the video, they looked perfect on top of that scale. Maybe I can invest in some fake ones to actually leave up there. But overall, I thought it was a really cute touch. And then again, just working on the other side, I added these items to balance out the candlesticks on the other side of the picture frame. And this cute little like sugar and creamer set is from Poulin Marketplace as well and I just love them. I love that they're like an off-white color so it doesn't really blend in with the shelf and they're just a little bit different from the ones I usually use so I really do love them and then I'm just moving around items. If you guys don't know this about me, I'm very meticulous with the way things are placed and i will remember if anything is moved even an inch i will notice which jonathan has a great laugh about but anyways just finishing off by adding these cute little spoons here just for that tiny small added detail of the metallic And as always, I'm just decorating the pegs on the shelf with some kitchen towels, some mugs, and a few wooden touches just to tie in all the wooden tones I have going on at the top. And yeah, I just kept it simple as always you guys know that I tend to use the same items over and over again and I really like how again the tones just play off of each other they look very beautiful together and although I'm not quite a neutral girl you guys know this about me I really do love how all of these colors play together how warm it looks and just very peaceful and calm for the summer season in the Alabama highway Out there in the open Just a wishing and a hoping I could smell the pines When I let you in the doorway Over on top of my lockers, I just added my glass canisters that I always have out. And then in this little box, I just have our coffee filters and that is it then I moved on to my dining room table which can you guys look at those doors in the back you cannot tell me that these French doors do not look way better than the sliding door that we had I just think it adds a lot of interest to this corner and I absolutely love them so much I I cannot get over them but anyways I just added a table runner with a little like wooden stand on top of it a base and then again using these baby breaths that I got from Hobby Lobby just such a simple floral but I just love them they look so beautiful and then I'll just finish off by adding this candle from the hearth and hand line this year I think it's their summer collection and this is the herb scent and again just pulling in that little bit of green that I've been using and I really just love how this corner of my home turned out I'm really in love i'll show you guys a quick overview but make sure to stick around for the end of this video for some more details on that giveaway but overall i am really in love with my coffee bar and my dining room table for summer
Okay, friends, well, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some decorating inspiration. But like I said, I am doing a giveaway. So here are some of the details. A while ago, I released a mug that I designed with my friend Brittany over at Quiet Creations. It was this really pretty mug that I absolutely love. And everyone who ordered one, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really does mean so much to me. And I hope you guys are enjoying your morning coffee or tea or whatever you drink in them. Everyone should have already received your mugs. I would love to see them if you have. Definitely tag me on Instagram. But in the video where I released the mugs, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Jonathan commented and I actually asked him to purchase one to support me and my friend. So he actually did, he purchased one, but he actually wanted me to do a giveaway with it. So that was very sweet of him. I'm very, very thankful that he did that. And yeah, we're gonna do a little giveaway. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, leave a comment down below, and share this video on your Instagram. Just make sure to tag me. The share on Instagram will be an extra entry because I want everyone to have a chance and if you don't have an Instagram, I totally get it. I still want you to be able to enter the giveaway if you want to. So if you share on Instagram and tag me, that's just an extra entry. Otherwise, just make sure you're subscribed and you leave a comment on this video. But yes, this is the one we are giving away. This one actually has like the cast and home stamp down below. So this one is mine. Mine didn't have it. It was like the prototype, but this one does. And it's just so beautiful and I'm really excited to be able to give it away to one of you guys. But that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, inspirational. And as always, I will see you guys for part two. I'm really excited for part two, which is gonna be my living room. I actually got a frame TV for my birthday this week and I'm really excited to have it up and be able to display some art and decorate around it and so on. So. Really excited. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. It was nothing you did. I just felt my low light in. Now we talk all the time. It's a little one-sided.